Hello, Jay here. Welcome to Ian's Battle. And today we're going to make an asphalt road. Now what you're going to need is some hobby cork and your base. The first step is to add some, a ton of super glue to the base. I'm using a brush applicator. And you're going to want to pretty much drown the base in super glue as you want it to get into all those little nooks and crannies in the cork and stick really well. And so there's a ton of super glue, so it's going to take some time to dry, probably close to a minute. So you just want to apply a constant pressure and then you can score the cork so that you can tear it easier without wasting so much. And then you can just take your fingers and start tearing the cork. Now you want to make sure that you don't tear the cork and expose some of the base underneath. So you want to make sure that all of the lines, the broken edges are away from the bottom of the base. Then you can take your hobby knife and cause little, uh, little potholes and things. Just little little interesting tidbits to the road. This is the 41st millennia, nothing's that clean. And it's ready for painting. So the first thing I did was I primed it black, and now I'm providing an all over, uh, just base coating of black paint. Just to help get it into all of those areas that the primer might not have hit. That's what generally happens with cork, is there's some spots that are usually bare. So you just want to go over those with your paintbrush, make sure the whole thing is a nice black. And next, I'm providing an all-over dry brush of a dark gray, just to help bring out the texture of the cork. I'm taking special care to hit the edges, because that's the area that's going to be most prominent when the model's on there. And now I'm going to go do the same thing again with a much lighter shade of gray, and again focusing on the edges to create a lot of contrast between the edge of the base. It'll look particularly interesting in a group with the same base pattern. And then I'm going to go and do the lines for the road. Now I'm starting out with a fairly orangish color, as it's going to be the base coat. See, pretty simple. And now I'm going to move on to a much brighter yellow. Now the reason I do this is it's always nice to have a gradient effect, as it just adds to the visual interest. It makes the colors look more deep. Now the lines are done, I'm going to do a quick dry brushing of bright white. This is going to add a lot of contrast to the base. See there was a little smudge with the yellow, nothing I can't clean up. And there you have it, a road torn right out of the street. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.